How about the, the gut microbiome? Uh, does that play a role with uric acid? So what we see both experimentally and in humans is that high levels of uric acid increase gut permeability uh, and that uh, elevation of uric acid does change uh, the array of gut bacteria favoring more pro-inflammatory uh, species as a survival mechanism because inflammation would have helped our ancestors fight off infection. And finally, a very interesting uh, finding that I, I, uh, I put in the book is that giving people uh, what's called a fecal microbial transplant, in other words, transferring healthy fecal material from a, a person, a healthy person to somebody with gout uh, has been associated with a dramatic improvement in gout in terms of the number of uh, flare-ups that they get. So it works both ways. It looks like good bac uh, bacteria help with lowering uric acid and elevated uric acid threatens the microbiome as well. So apart from diet, are there other ways that we can lower uric acid? So we, we did talk about fasting as a, as a way. So what about uh, kind of exercise? Well, exercise uh, is not a, a real powerful player. I, I wish I could say it is associated. We know that people who are regular exercisers generally have a lower uric acid. Is it because they are exercising? I don't know. What we do know is that sleep does tend to be an issue, that people who don't get enough restorative sleep uh, certainly have higher uric acid levels, especially, interestingly, people who have sleep apnea. Because people with sleep apnea, for two reasons, they tend to make more body fat. We didn't know why. Apnea, when you're having sleep apnea, you become hypoxic. Your blood oxygen level goes down. And what does that do? That turns on the production of fructose in your body, tells your body to make fat, you gain more weight, and you're higher risk now for more sleep apnea episodes. So something very important to think about. So, you know, it's very important for people to get some sense as to how well they are sleeping. You know, you can say, I sleep, I sleep great, eight hours a night, no problem. But you might find if you put on some kind of wearable device that you know, you might be in bed for uh, eight hours a night, but in reality, it took you, you know, half an hour to fall asleep. And then your sleep was fragmented. You didn't get enough restorative sleep, deep sleep. You didn't get enough REM sleep. You woke up a few times in the night, though you don't remember it. So I am all in as it relates to a wearable device that allows you to understand the dynamics of your sleep and the, the quality of your sleep, for sure. Which stress raise uric acid? Um, Without right? question. Without question. And so lots, lots of mechanisms there, but I think one of the biggest mechanisms that's been so well defined is um, the uh, the role of stress in increasing uh, cortisol, uh, how that increases gut permeability, amplifies inflammation, and most uh, how it actually increases blood glucose. When blood glucose is elevated, preparing our bodies for fight or flight, as happens during stress. Some of that glucose gets shuttled into fructose through the pathway we described earlier. And as such, that may well explain why people who experience chronic stress tend to have uh, increased body weight and then you know, be at risk for all the downstream problems from that, the dementia, the diabetes, uh, et cetera, the hypertension. Right. So a little bit of meditation and other relaxation protocols would be I'd go more than a little bit. A little bit. I would go regular and, uh, you know, be all in as it relates to that. That's for sure. These days, especially. Yes. Yeah, no, that's always good. Okay. So thank you very much. I think uh, we covered My it. My pleasure. Uh, Richard, great to see you. And uh, thanks for staying up late for mm. me. You're, you're the best. <laughs> you're very welcome. So where can people find the book and also the follow the rest of your you work? Uh, my uh, website, oddly enough, is Dr. Perlmutter dot com drperlmutter.com good clearinghouse for a lot of what i write my blogs video blogs my interviews on the empowering neurologist the book is drop acid and it has its own website dropacidbook.com and uh, lots of uh, video posts i've put there on this exactly what you and i've been talking about today so uh you know i, I the book is is worldwide availability now um so there you go so, and yes, for anyone who wants to read, it wants more detail, um, the uric acid, the book is really good. I mean, it goes into the science and also like all the details on the the food that you should be eating and the, the recipes. It's really good.
So, so thank you so much for joining us thank today. Thank you, Richard. Dr. Great Tom to see Mata. you. Appreciate it.